Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we have variant 7, boss number 3 and number 4. We are in the second chapter and we have Spider-Man symbiote. So this guy I think is by far the hardest boss of this variant. And yeah, let's talk about his nodes. So the first node is called the best defense one. So he gains 20% more evade ability accuracy. And then if he evades, he gains 10% of a bar of power. So nothing too special, but it's just more of agents, so most likely going to evade after those specials. And then the most annoying note is called Hard Knock Life 2. So every time we parry, we gain a passive disorient. So it's really bad because it's passive, we can't even heal from the willpower from it. And it decreases our ability accuracy and block proficiency by 10%. So this is the reason I picked Daredevil. Because this guy, he evades projectiles at 100% chance once he's max sick, and he is. 100% chance to evade projectiles, so he's SP1. And then this guy has 40% perfect block chance. So even if you mess up and block, if you have Disorient, you have a 4% chance to perfect block. So this is great, he's a, he's a great counter. And then the next node is Backboard Brawler, so it's nothing too special. If the defender is pinned against the wall, he gets a fury and an armor every 3, every three seconds. It increases his attack by 10%, so nothing too crazy right there. In this fight, we don't push him to his corner or he doesn't push us in our corner because we are like waiting out that evade and that disorient, so we don't have any problem with that. And then it, the next node is called Rising Sun, so every time we hit the opponent, we gain a fury. And if we get 10 furies or more, we gain we get degen by a little bit, so it is 12% of the defender's attack over 4 seconds. But if you use a heavy attack, you remove all of those furies. So you lose the attack, but you don't get degen. So what you want to do is like get 8 or 9, and then use a heavy attack to like remove all of them. And those increase your attack by 2.5. So if you stack like 8 of those, it's a really good time. And yeah, next node is called Shifting Immunity, Bleed and Poison. Every 10 seconds he alternates between Poison and Bleed Immunity. Nothing special. And then the Skill Wrath, so we gain 125% more attack if we are using a Skill Champion. So that helps a lot. It's it's really good. And yeah, in my opinion, that Daredevil is one of the best counters here. Because you need good block proficiency, and yeah, this guy has big projectiles as well. 100% chance. It's just a 4 star, it's crazy. So, I mean, I can pretty consistently evade his SP1, but even if I mess up, he will save me for sure. So he has 16% left. We're actually in the corner right here. We block, you see, 2.1A block. But there, perfect block, so it doesn't really matter. We have a 40% chance. And yeah, we also have Guardian as well. So that way we only lost 2.1. We would lost, we would let lose more, but yeah, here we have 27%, we got 1% after this heavy attack, and right there we block, we get 10%, that's pretty scary, and now I just want to intercept him with my SP1, and he will go down, there we go, and yeah, his stuns as well, Daredevil stun is pretty nice as well, gain that critical boost, so it's pretty good. And we'll move over to Spider Gwen. So Spider Gwen is pretty fun with Grandpool. So she has all abilities trigger 20% more often. So 20% more chance to evade. Then she's aggressive. And then 
The node you have to be careful of it's bubble shield. It's time we block hit, it reduces our block efficiency by 4%, and after 10 stacks, the next attack is unblockable, so it should become unblockable for a little bit. And then stack overflow, so for each additional tech champion we use, our tech champions debuff duration is increased by 10%, but it doesn't matter because we are using it here. And here with Grandpa, after 50 hits, she will no longer evade. So every hit is 2%. I will let the accuracy reduction. And after 50, she has 100%. And right there, we powered after that SP3, went in. Now we have 40 hits, so 80% ability accuracy reduction. And the stun is actually pretty sweet as well. So now we hit that 50 hit mark. She can't evade, so we can intercept here. We can stun her to get our opening. And if you see, it's pretty consistent. I think it's a great percent chance to stun her bleed. Maybe it's more. But yeah, we don't need to block because we have five of those bubble shield stacks. This is our block efficiency by how much is it? 20%. We are intercepting a little bit. You can see the stuns are pretty consistent here. Even as a four star. And we drop that L2, 30k. Now we will go after that heavy attack. And yeah, it's done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.